Hi everybody, welcome back to the third video, or is it the fourth? This is the fourth video related to iCloud. In this video, we're going to do something interesting on how we save the images to the Cloud Kit. Now, in the My View Controller, I've included an image called here Hike on my file, and I and the storyboard. I just I have an image. If you remember, I just set that uh, image to. Uh, the image property to the image that I include into the project. So we want to take this image and send it to the cloud. So this image could come from a file, it could come from uh, the camera or the image picker, whatever, right? So now if we go to the view controller and let's start getting this uh, start working. First, we have the save, uh, we got the save record. Here's my save record. Everything is the same except the image is missing. So we're going to add the code for the image before we execute the save record. So how do you do this? I have an image already. I need to get the reference to an image. So I'm going to say let image equal store image. This is the outlet that we have already in the storyboard view controller store image that image that will give you the image, right? The way it works, the there's a class called CK. Let's say I'm going to call let uh, image asset equal ck asset right now this requires a file url and that url can of course it can come from the net but this file is coming locally so what i'm going to do is that i have to this image that we have we need to save it locally to the database to the local storage get access to that url and pass it to this class so I'm going to leave it as, for example, I'm going to call it image URL, image URL right now here. And we'll come back to it later on. I'm going to comment this so it doesn't give us an error. Okay. And I have the code already done to do this part. So instead of retyping it and wasting your time, I'll just show you what it is and then uh, explain to you the different part. First, you need to access the file manager. Okay, and then you do it by let manager equal file manager default manager. The next thing you need to get the directory path for the document directory where you can store the data. Okay, and this is how you do that. Okay, uh, you're getting the document directory. After that, this will give you an array of objects. You just want the first one, and after that, you create a path for that file and you give it a name image path image and my image and then that path all right so you all you've done here so far is you got access reference to where you're going to start the store there that image and after this part you remember we've used this before we convert the image to j to ns data and then you take that ns data and write it to a file so this will convert it convert that image that I got access to from the outlet, convert it to data, NS data, write it to a file using the file path that we've got. And when it's, uh, uh, all right, I got a message here. Okay, save it to the file. Uh, so basically this will happen is save it to a file locally. All right, with that path that we've created. All right, so now, I want to get the URL for that file and you get the URL by say let URL and as URL file for uh, uh, file URL with path that is the path that we've created so this will give me the NS you this is will give me a URL object now I can use that URL object in my asset class so you what you do is that you just simply say let image asset equal image URL it's not image URL I can change that to say image URL for example so all right all right so that is image URL image URL so that will give me the URL and create the asset the last part and this is optional I need to unwrap it on oh, file URL oh we needed the uh, yeah, file URL for the asset the last thing I need to do is that I need to set that object in that dashboard file, which is store image. Okay, so if you remember here, 
I have something called stores. There is something called store image. So I need to set it in here. Okay, so what do you do? You just simply go in here and you say, just like we've done before, store dot set object. And then what is the object that we're setting? The image asset. And for the key, the store image. Okay, if I do that, it will blow because there is no store image. Okay, so this would work. And that's all. That's all you have to do to store, to save the data on the image. Now, this sounds too much, right? So instead of repeating this code, I would create another function or a utility class that you just send them an image, send it an image, and it give you URL, and then you use that in here instead of repeating this every time. Okay. So now, if we run it and see what will happen. Okay, and I'm going to give it a different name. Let's use a name that we would remember, DVB, very creative. And now I am in a different location in the world <laughs> because I'm using VPN. Okay. All right, so now you got my location. Here's my image. And if I click on Save, this is running, 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 and notice it is taking longer, and the reason it's taking longer, it is actually taking the image and saving it to the cloud, but it worked, so this is great. Now, to make sure it does, if we go back to this dashboard and click on the default zone and look at VVV, now I have a binary image with 55 kilobytes, okay? Because uh, I actually asked it to reduce the size to a half. Now, if you do download and open downloads, you'll see the image. Is that the image? Modify date, this is it? No. Is this download? Where is it? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. This is it. Okay. You can. Here is my image that I downloaded and saved to the iCloud. Okay. So that is how it works. We were able to save text, a location, and images. In the next video, I'll show you how we actually download information from the cloud and display it into your app. I'll see you in the next video.